The number one Green Lantern in DCU will be Jon Stewart. James Gunn's DCU doesn't officially kick off until July, but the news is kicking off already superman is done filming we know that and news is coming out of all these little things right now we're still waiting on who's going to play batman because that is the biggest concern everybody has in the dcu is who's going to be the next i'm just joking i freeze i'm batman good lanterns is coming we know the lanterns hbo series is on its way originally slated to not be a part of the dcu before the gun safran era began it was kind of shelved and then brought back it's been brought back in a few weeks ago or last week. There was rumors that Jeff uh, Bridges, was it Jeff Bridges? Jeff Bridges. Oh, well, I dig your style too, man. It wasn't. It was Josh Brolin was offered the role. Imagine Jeff Bridges. Yeah, thanks, man. Josh Brolin was offered the role of Hal Jordan. He declined, moved on. Then names like you and McGregor and Chris Prine climbed up the ladder of social media uh, fan castings and people wondering why is Hal Jordan so old? Why is he uh, an actor, you know, 40, 50, 60, uh, all going on and on? And Jeff Bridges. And now Kyle Chandler, Friday Night Lights, Kyle Chandler, Godzilla's Kyle Chandler has been cast as Hal Jordan Green Lantern. Kind of a, kind of fitting with what they're saying. He's 59 years old, I believe. So it is an older Hal Jordan. Why is it an older Hal Jordan? Why don't they go younger? Don't they want the DCU to be around for a very long time? We also know that Nathan Fillion will be playing in Green Lantern in Superman there as well with a nice bowl cut. Check that out. That is that is a do right there. And let's look at, we have uh, the article here from the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, look at that. There's cut from Slumberland. I haven't seen Slumberland. I don't watch Netflix. HBO DC series Lanterns has found its Hal Jordan. Emmy winner Kyle Chandler is set to play the legendary member of the Green Lantern Corps in the series. Sources tell the Hollywood Reporter the show will be the first series role for the Friday Night Light Stars since Showtime's 2022 drama super pumped lanterns which scored a straight to series order in june after years of development comes from chris mundy ozark damon lindelof watchman lost and eisner award-winning comics writer tom king the trio are trio are co-writing and executive producing the series with mundy serving as showrunner the show, which falls under the hbo banner is casting and in the middle of hiring directors the series is looking to shoot from next january to june in atlanta there's a that's a schedule so that's yeah lanterns is described as having a gritty true detective vibe as it focuses on jordan reluctantly mentoring a young lantern john stewart who in dc publishing history was one of the company's first black superheroes the story sees the two characters investigating an earthbound murder with larger implications sources say that dc and the producers are looking for a young more fresh-faced actor for the role to play opposite an older and bigger name dc initially was looking for a movie star to take on jordan role and had been in talks with josh brolin who ultimately passed and while rumors abounded that actors such as chris pine or ewan mcgregor were next on the list that turned out to be mostly wishful thinking are they saying kyle chandler is not a movie star I mean, I guess he's not. I mean, my parents don't know who he is. I, he's got a fa I think everybody's seen him. I think everybody knows who he is. He's a fantastic actor. Fantastic actor. Chandler became a name thanks to his Emmy winning turn as coach Eric Taylor in the beloved Friday Night Lights television series that aired on NBC from 2006 to 2011. He returned to series work with the Netflix thriller Bloodline, which earned him two Emmy nominations. In recent years, he has popped up in movies. Big and small, among them Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and Godzilla vs. Kong, as well as Damien Chazelle's Neil Armstrong biopic, First Man. He is rep by Gersh and Brillstein Entertainment Partners. Very exciting stuff there. So I, I'm going on now. I've got to speculate right here and just say, let's be real here. How Jordan, this is gritty, true detective style stuff. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, it's probably going to be grounded, obviously, grounded and gritty. I'm thinking how Jordan's going to kick the bucket towards the end, maybe even less than halfway through the series. He's going to kick the bucket. John Stewart's going to have to take the mantle and John Stewart will, will be propelled 
as the DCU's true Green Lantern, the number one Green Lantern in the DCU, will be Jon Stewart. And as they're saying, they're looking for a fresh, young, up-and-coming actor to play Jon Stewart opposite Kyle Chandler. And a lot of fans are going towards Rebel Ridge star Aaron Pierre, who did a fantastic job in Rebel Ridge. So they're thinking Aaron Pierre opposite Kyle Chandler, Jon Stewart, Hal Jordan dies. Kyle Chandler is your Hal Jordan. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.